students. It's one of those jobs that nobody really likes to do. You know, cleaning the gutters, but your gutters can be the final resting place for all of those gorgeous fallen leaves and the other gunk that can accumulate throughout <laughs> the year. So Andy, Andy Lindas with Lindas Construction joins us now with some pointers on cleaning out the gutters. Hey, Andy. Hey, how are you guys? We're good. We're good. Uh, good. This is a debate my husband and I have every year because uh, we have some taller gutters and I always get nervous when he gets up mm -hmm. on the ladder. So my question for you is, is this something you should even attempt yourself? If you feel comfortable on a ladder, yes. But if, if you're at all unstable or your equipment's not very good, then, then no, hire a professional. For what it costs to get your gutters cleaned out, I, I hear way too many stories every year where people get severely injured from ladders or from falling off the roof trying to clean out their gutters. So if you're not used to it or something you're not comfortable with, don't do it. Look to hire it out and, and then not have to worry about it. All right. But some of us have maybe just like an yeah. eight or, you know, 10 foot uh, uh, height to get to for these. Uh, how, how do you get ready for this job? Well, first and foremost, Jason, have good, solid shoes. This isn't something you want to uh, attempt in flip flops or or Crocs. We see that on roofs every now and then. And make sure that you have a good quality ladder. Your ladder shouldn't be something that's been handed down from generation to generation in your yeah. family. It should be something that's newer and has zero broken parts. Zero broken parts. At Linus Construction, if one part on the ladder is broken, we usually cut it in halves to make sure no one will ever use mm. it. Wow. All right. So you do your, you start with the prep there. Uh, mm -hmm. Then what do you do once you get up on that ladder and you start clearing? You know, to make your life a little bit easier, have some tools where you can extend a little bit, where you're not going to have to lean off the ladder, have a bucket for the debris so you don't have to go back down to the ground and re-pick it all up. But the, having good tools is probably first and foremost, if I see people in danger areas, it's because they're leaning on a ladder, putting their weight one way or the other, or they try to hop the ladder over, bad Ooh. idea. Even if you're up three feet, most injuries on work comp for construction injuries happen at heights four foot and less because mm. we're a little less careful then. Interesting. Wow. So I went up to clean out a downspout and I, for the first time, because my trees are finally big enough mm -hmm. that the leaves are getting in the gutters. And I was a little surprised, like you have this idea that it's all of these like dry leaves in there, but really it becomes like, a, almost like a mud in the downspout. It does, all that stuff starts to decompose and sometimes you're gonna have to take that apart to clear it out. It's probably one of the most important areas to look at, Jason. So you you taking apart your downspouts probably saved you a lot of damage in the future. Yeah. All right. Um, Andy, what's the point where you get up there and you look and you say, okay, it's time for new gutters? Anytime you, you see any type of deterioration or water that's gonna start to pull loose or water that can get to any bare wood, any type of leaking, any type of where water isn't going to where it's supposed to, that's probably the biggest sign to get a professional involved. At least have it taken a look at because that little bit of water can cause hundreds, even thousands of dollars worth of damage down the road. Good information. Mm -hmm. Andy, I survived it. It's a bit of a miracle. You did. I made it. You're such a handyman. He <laughs> oh, is. God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy for it. That's right. Can I have one last thing? Yeah. yeah. We always, uh, November is Movember at Linus Construction, so that's why I got the uh, the, the beard and the stash there. Men's health, a lot of uh, young men here working, and uh, we don't go to the doctors nearly as much as we should, so uh, try to bring awareness to Mo Movember every year. Awesome. Sounds good. Good message. We